It's a very busy morning. Major developments on the coronavirus. The 85,000 cases in the U.S. now the most in the world. And at least 1,200 deaths are being blamed on the virus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What strange times we're living in. I hope everybody's keeping really safe. Me, I've just been at home making fires and cooking food. Obviously all the airsoft fields are closed here in Ireland, but I do have a backlog of gameplay footage, so we'll hopefully still be able to put out weekly videos for you. Anyway, let's finish these hamburgers, grab a beer, and watch today's episode. I hope you like it. So we are back at Predator Airsoft. This week I'm not alone. Today I'll be playing with the Misfits Airsoft team. They are shrewd, <laughs> tactical and very, very organised. With a great chain of command, let's see what we can do. Today we are having a game of push. We have four objectives in total which we have to conquer one by one before we can move on to the next. Predator Airsoft do you have a rule though that bolt action snipers can go anywhere within the site boundaries. I've never played with the Misfits Airsoft team before, however we seem to have the same idea. What we're going to do is head west to a nearby forest and hopefully gain some solid ground undercover without the enemy know. I take a quick glance up the road just to make sure we haven't been spotted. Those of you who have watched my channel before will know that I don't really like hanging back, so it's good that I get the go ahead to move up. This isn't the pathway as such, and as you can see it's quite thick, but it's giving us the cover that we need to push right up and attack from the right flank. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. As mentioned before, I have free reign to this site, so let's push up even further. Sounds like the enemy team are getting confused about where they're getting hit from. At this point, I'm the furthest forward player. Time to kick in some doors. That was the last person on the right flank. There are some enemies just up ahead, but the bushes are too thick and I would give away my position. So I decided to retreat back, team up with the misfits, and come back around and attack from the left flank. In order to do this, I have to cross this wide opening. Luckily the misfits are there to give some cover fire. And there goes the fly carrier. So 
So we can get an eye over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here come the misfits to help clear the left flank. The flag marker for the first objective is at our 12 o'clock. However, our enemy is to our 9 o'clock. We decide to push up to distract them from firing at the flag carrier. With the first objective taken, we can now push on up. If the enemy dug in deep in the forest and the sun bearing down on us, I'm finding it very difficult to pick out targets. Guys moving left to right, my 12 o'clock, 20 meters. Slowly but surely we're making our way up this tough, tough incline. I took two of them out there, there must be another one. Any eyes? Any eyes? Still contact, nine o'clock left. Thick vegetation and the glaring sun is making it extremely hard to pick out targets.
me in front looking good, I decide to veer off and use my sniper rights to infiltrate the enemy from the left flank. I put a full mag in my MK23 just in case we get into a firefight. Unknowingly, I stumble upon a main enemy force. This is quite some distance from the main fight, so I really was taken by surprise seeing the enemy there. They spot me walking along in the sun and eventually take me out. Critiquing my gameplay, I maybe should have stuck closer to the hill. That would have kept me in the shade and out of their line of sight and I possibly could have even heard them as well. Anyway, I tag back into the game and I go out onto the hunt, knowing that the enemy are down in the left flank. This is a more head-on approach to the enemy, but I'll rely heavily on my KMCS suit to keep me hidden. It's time to get low. Sure enough, I meet the enemy on the left. I stay incredibly still after the shot, because the enemy was having a good stare to try and find the location of the shooter. His sniper friend pauses as he knows I'm up ahead. Little did he know, he was just giving me an easier target. I'm running out on the clock, I had to push for the third objective, but I get met with a wave full of babies. Hit! Good shot! And that brought the game to an end. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you.